In today's wrap-up on December 28, in the middle of the road from the Armenian city of Goris to the village of Vorotan, the placement of a billboard with a map of Azerbaijan by the Azerbaijanis caused concerns among the local population. According to Armenia's human rights defender Arman Tatoyan, the residents of the nearby Armenian villages submitted complaints to him in connection with their life, physical security and property rights. It was stated in the alerts that this is a gross violation of their rights. According to the trilateral agreement signed between Armenia, Azerbaijan and Russia, which ended the 44-day war in Karabakh, the Zangilan and Kubatlu regions, which borders the Sunik region of Armenia, were transferred to Azerbaijan. The new demarcation process revives the former administrative borders of the Soviet era, ignoring the realities on the ground and with no direct communication between Armenia and Azerbaijan authorities. Consequently, the road connecting the cities of Goris and Kapan crosses Azerbaijani territory in several places, and recently representatives of Azerbaijan have demanded 12 homes located in the village of Shurnuk to be transferred over to them. In other news, Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan slammed his critiques and said that Armenia could have avoided the war if it had withdrawn from the seven territories around Karabakh and had forgotten about the status of the territory. The idea that in case of a flexible policy we could have avoided war is constantly circulating, he said. He continued saying that the flexible policy pursued by Armenia for many years led to the introduction of Russian proposals in January 2016, which provided for the return of seven territory without any clarification of the status of Nagorno-Karabakh. Why did Russia make such an offer? For a simple reason. As a result of Armenia's flexible policy, the Madrid principles entered a deadlock, because Artsakh could receive a status outside Azerbaijan only with the consent of Azerbaijan. It was obvious to everyone in Russia that Azerbaijan would never agree to such an option, so it was necessary to find ways to break through the deadlock. In Pashinyan's opinion, the former government is to blame for the current situation as for many years they pursued a policy of avoiding war, not preparing for war. Our biggest shortcoming is that in two and a half years, we have not managed to return enough stolen money to properly prepare for war. Vitali Balasanyan, secretary of the National Security Council of Artsakh, assures that the region of Hadrut and the lost part of Askeran will be returned in time. We have not lost, Balasanyan told Artsakh Public Television, reminding that in 19 1992-1993, Artsakh was in a worse territorial condition. Balasanyan went on to make odd statements. I appeal to our people to refrain from all drugs and alcohol. All those who will consume alcohol have no place here. Every person in the territory of the Artsakh Republic must be disciplined, he said. Balasanyan also vowed to oust drug addicts and religious sects from Artsakh. Moreover, he said that the use of Facebook and other social media by government's officials, including the president, must be restricted. According to Balasanyan, the National Security Council would be in charge of the Nagorno-Karabakh Defense Army. Earlier, President of Artsakh, Arai Karu, Tsunyan had said that the Security Council will receive new powers. In CivilNet Special, the residents of Shurnoh village of the Sunik region are worried about their fate. Part of the Armenian village that borders Azerbaijan might be handed over to Azerbaijan. CivilNet's Jan Avakian visited the village and talked with the few residents who decided not to leave Shurnoh.